one click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. Google has some apps that are meant for children that are actually giving away your children's personal information. You as a parent need to be aware that any app on your child's device could potentially put them at risk. And we need to do a better job of checking, verifying, and validating what our children are doing online. Now, now let me just be clear here. I am not letting Google off the hook. I'm not saying what Google did was okay. The government is stepping in. The FTC is looking into it. If they truly did things wrong, there will be fines and there will be some penalties there because with anything dealing with children, there are strict laws on what can or cannot be done. So one area that Congress has actually done a really good job with is protecting our children from these apps. Now, protecting us is a different story, right? Marriott can put 500 million records at risk and they don't care. But if our children are put at risk, which I think is important, then there are some laws in place that the FTC does enforce. So the good news is there is some action being taken there. But the point I want to make is this. We have to protect our children. We can't just assume that because an app comes from Google and says it's safe, because an app comes from Google and says, oh, this is good for your children, we shouldn't blindly believe them. We should still take a look, see what's going on, and still be careful of what personal information our children is putting online. Once again, I care about you. I care about your children. I want to make cyberspace a safe place to live, work, and raise a family. But that means we have to do a better job engaging and accepting responsibility for our cybersecurity. Unfortunately, these things are going to happen. Now, yes, in a perfect world, I wish it didn't happen. I wish Google would have checked, caught, verified, and validated, and that didn't occur. But ultimately, we have to look at our children's device at least once a week, look at what apps they're playing, and just watch, monitor, and engage with our children. Here's the interesting thing. Most of us talk to our children about don't talking to strangers. My kids know that if a stranger comes up to you and offers you candy, run, right? Don't talk to strangers. Don't get in cars with strangers. All that stuff we have ingrained in our children's heads. But when was the last time you talked to them about cybersecurity? When was the last time you talked to them that if a pop-up message appears, don't put in your name and age. Don't put in your address. Don't put in any sensitive data. Most kids, and I volunteer a lot at schools because I believe in giving back to the community, and I'm always amazed when I volunteer at schools and I talk to these kids that they are fully aware of dangers in the real world but have no clue of the dangers in cyberspace. I actually had one 12-year-old told me, oh, Dr. Cole, if the app is allowed to be downloaded on my device, Apple and Google check and verify, it's always secure. And I said, who told you that? And he said, oh, my parents. My parents said, as long as I'm downloading only from trusted sites, I can put anything I want on my device and it's safe and protected. And I'm sitting there like, give me your parents' number, right? I want to talk to them. That is not true. I mean, that is bad advice. Now, the parents don't know, so you can't blame them, but they need to know. We as parents need to recognize what the dangers are in cyberspace, and we need to better protect our children, because guess what? Unfortunately, whether we like it or not, Google and Apple and everyone else is going to make mistakes. They are going to release apps that they shouldn't, and we need to better protect our children. So here's what you need to do. Once a week, when your child is on their device, you need to spend at least 10 minutes watching what they're doing. Just watching over their shoulder, looking at how they behave, because that's the best way of monitoring. And if messages pop up or things occur, say, oh, don't click on that, don't do that, don't do this. You then want to also periodically just check their device 
and see what apps are on there and what they're playing with. And then finally, you want to go in and talk to your children about cybersecurity. They need to know that just because somebody says there's a 12-year-old girl or boy online, they might not be. Anybody can be anyone they want online, and there's a lot of predators out there. So we need to talk to our children, make them aware of the dangers, and make them more awake to what the problems are, recognize there are bad people out there in cyberspace, and help them make better decisions. We need to step up the game as parents, better monitor what our children are doing, better look at what's on their device, and have the conversations with them. Because if we do that, we can make cyberspace a safe place to live, work, and raise a family.